It's become a common sight on our San Diego beaches. These fishing pongas run aground, abandoned. Very rarely are the passengers found. Illegal immigrants smuggled into the U.S. in the dark of night. We have learned the ocean route for these immigrants is not always a direct one. On a cold, wet day, we rode along with a group called the Desert Angels to learn more. They bring us here, to the northern end of the Coronado Islands in Mexican waters. The Angels tell us immigrant smugglers use this place in an attempt to throw off U.S. tracking techniques. Some immigrants are dropped here temporarily, but when the weather is bad or the Coast Guard is searching, the immigrants are left behind, sometimes for days without food or water. Two months ago, after we, we le before we left the food, we, we found five people in that, uh, in that place. Five people? Uh, yes, five people. There was a stock. No one picked them up? Yes, nobody to pick them up. And what did they tell you? Uh, they was uh, left behind, left abandoned. Rafael Hernandez and the Desert Angels have no political agenda except to ensure that human beings don't die because they're without food or water. So they leave supplies on immigrant trails in the desert and sometimes here on the island. You can get a real good idea that this is simply nothing more than a drop-off point for these immigrants. Michael, if you can take a look, this, this whole area is absolutely uninhabitable. As Rafael and his partner Ricardo Villegas begin to unload the food and water, it didn't take long before we saw the Angels' last drop served its purpose. I've actually been here for a while. Another one there. Obviously, water is the most important thing you'd need on your trip up. The Angels worked quickly and wasted very little time. There's an element of danger here because they've crossed paths with drug traffickers in the past who also use these islands. So with the drop completed, the Desert Angels search for abandoned immigrants who may be hiding and in need of medical care. If you can take a look at Ricardo, he's trying to make the climb up the cliff right now to see if there's been anyone here recently. If you were going to be smuggled here for a period of time, you could only be here for a couple of days, maybe even just a couple of hours, depending on the weather. No immigrants were found, but the Angels did discover the island was used recently. Ricardo found this at the top of the hill. A compass found in a spot Ricardo says would make a perfect lookout at the top of the island. Less than 30 minutes after we arrived, we started home. The work of the Desert Angels completed. If we bring food and water to them and they use it, that means that we're doing something good for them and we feel good.